for one fall. One fall! And it is a bull rope match. Woo! Introducing first. Wow. We set up for an amazing match today here at the Trinity Centre. Welcome to Southwest Wrestling. Can't say that I've seen many ball rope matches inside the Trinity Centre before, but here we are. Established stars on a Southwest Wrestling roster. This is a long introduction. If ever I've seen one, it'd be worth it, I'm sure. must have heard me. Didn't realise I could be heard all the way from back here. The commentary desk. But here we go. Can't wait for this match. Highly anticipated. This can be hard hitting. And as Gilligan Gordon rightly said, this is a ball road match. Here we go, ladies and gents. Your Southwest Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, The Stallion. Great introduction there from our ring announcer, Gilligan Gordon. Or as I affectionately called him, Gideon. So there he is, your Southwest Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. This is a non title match, though. that Chris Bronson treats every match as if it's a title match it's that intense that's that much. one of the very best in the country but he's going to have to be on fighting form he's going to have to be on top form for his opponent today here we go What an ovation for Dinger Bane. He usually brings a shopping bag full of ciders to the ring with him. Today, he's brought a cowbell, a ball rope. He's probably had a couple of tinnies out of the back there. A bit of Dutch courage or Somerset courage. Oh, he's left, he's left it behind. Gonna be a tough one for the referee to keep a handle on. Both competitors having to be attached at either end of the ball rope, the cowbell in the middle. 
makes you wonder who's got the advantage here. I'd probably say Dinger Bane, to be honest with you. Oh, clubbing forearms there from Dinger Bane in the corner. Getting the early advantage over the champion. Dinger Bane and letting his opponent get too far away. Remember, they're both attached by this ball rope. so many ways oh well, hold on oh. that's a heavy price on Chris Bronson ever wanted to become a father second awesome atomic drop there from Dinger There to the midsection. Sonic Russian leg sweep. Three, one, two, Didn't know you knew such a move. Three, three, three. level of respect has gone up in my estimation. He's firm in control of this match. Siders or no siders. Oh. Chris Bronson using his smart shoes and his ring awareness, his speed, his cunning as a champion. Oh, takes him over the top rope there. Both men are on the outside. The cowbell follows. People in the first couple of rows there better be careful. Oh, whips in the back there, Dinger Bane, that has to be punishing. See, this ball rope can be used in so many ways to tie your opponent up, to wrap them up, to hit them with, to whip them with, and then of course you've got the cowbell. These two are fighting all over, and of course being a ball rope match, they can fight all over the Trinity Center, and that is exactly what they're doing. Oh, right across the back there, you can hear that from where I'm sat. Kick up the backside. A packed house here inside the Trinity Centre in Bristol. Chris Watson, he's got a few seconds respite, walk into the ring to act quick. And I think that's, that's what's going to be his advantage here is maybe a little bit more speed, a little bit more agile. Oh, driving thing ahead first into the ring post. Oh, tripped him up as well. Chris Watson doesn't need the ball rope as a weapon. He's got the whole ring. He's got the whole of the Trinity Centre to use as his weapon. That's why he's as good as he is. Oh, what's going to happen now? Drives Dinger Bane into the ring post, pulling him using the ball rope to pull him straight into the ring post oh Dinger Bane he reciprocates uses the ball rope to his advantage oh back and forth back and forth driving their opponents into the ring post three or four times now that ring post is going to have dents in it oh, oh it's causing immense damage to the, to the head, to the neck, to the shoulder area. Dinger Bane there, three in a row. How is Dinger going to recover from that? Usually that sort of look on Dinger Bane would be mistaken for a heavy night out, but no. He's in a brutal match, but tied up there, using the ball rope around the neck of Dinger Bane using the ring post as leverage to cause extra pain. Oh, Dinger Bane. Oh, that's the second bit of offense. Um, oh, Chris Bronson. He's got no chance of having children after that. Being pulled up towards the ring post. Dinger calls that the nutcracker. Oh, scoops him up. 
Down he goes. This match has been fast, furious. From pillar to post, quite literally. Oh! Just got some pulls to Gabain off the middle rope there. This is where his ring smarts comes into play. Using the ball rope to his advantage every which way. Now ties him up across the throat again. Oh, a wicked ball to the top of the head there. Oh, oh. feel that one. Oh, the second time. You can see the anguish, the pain on Digger Bain's face. Punch to the jaw, takes the big man down. Digger Bain's been a mainstay in the Southwest Wrestling Ring for many years. Chris Bronson became the new SWW Heavyweight Champion earlier on this year. This is a non title match. Ah, oh, Digger Bain. Finding this fight, this extra win, this little bit of momentum. Oh. Don't know if that was a forearm, an elbow, or a bit of the rope to midsection there of Bronson, the stallion. Oh, he uses the, the, the rope as a whip. To the back of the stallion. Giving him a bit of his own medicine there. Fans are really into this one. And speak of giving Bronson a piece of his own medicine, using the rope to his advantage across the neck of the champion. I don't know if there's much the referee can do. This is obviously no DQ. All rope match. We haven't seen the cowbell come into play much yet. Oh. Vicious strike there. Oh, two count there from Dinger. So close. Getting the fans behind him here in the Trinity Centre. Oh wow. Think I spoke too soon. Oh, Bronson! Spinebuster! Out of nowhere! Desperation Spinebuster! One, two! Close near fall there. I say desperation attempt from the Stallion. He's obviously gaining some momentum of his own, getting a second win, pulls the knee pad down there. That usually means the end for his opponents. Comes up to the second turnbuckle with the ball rope and cowbell in hands. What's going to happen? Remember, they're still both attached at the wrists. Forearm from Dingle. A second. Dingle's got his opponent rocked on the top rope there. Oh, an amazing superplex from Dingle Bane. The tide of the match has turned once again. Encouraging Dinger to his feet. Both men gasping for air. This has been a punishing match. Bronson tries the right hand, tries the second. Dinger blocks, headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. Oh. Is Dinger going to try? Kick to midsection. Pump handle Sam. Using the ball rope. Oh! oh Mitchell a kick out and being close to the bottom rope there. Saved Chris Branson. He's urging Dinger to finish this match. One more move could surely do it. Oh! Back elbows there from Bronson. But think about it gets him up for the Uranagi. Cover! Oh! 
so close. And although this is a non-title match, Chris Bronson will not want to lose this one. Just for a sense of pride. But Dinger Bain is having the match of his life here. I'm sure after this one, he might want most of his matches to be ball rope matches. Hold on. Oh, recovery there from Bronson. Kick to the back, kick to the midsection. Up he goes. Power bomb. Devastating. Oh. Desperation kick out there from Dinger. Bit of frustration there from the champion. We've had everything in this match. We've drilled around the arena. Each man's been driven into the ring posts. We've utilised the ball rope. Think of Bain has Chris Watson up, no? Reversal. Is really fired up. I think the bank just can't quite get the shoulders down for the three count. And Norka Bronson. Ducked from a close on. Huge lariat there from the stallion. He covers. The kick out from Dinger. They're getting weaker and weaker. He's wrapping his head in the entirety of the ball rope DDT I've never seen that before referee that was it DDT with the ball rope DDT with the ball rope wrapped around Dinger Bane's head the man stood no chance. No chance. But that was a fight. That was a battle. And a valiant effort there from Dinga Bane. But there's your champion. This was a non-total match. was an all-total match but he sends a message clear to anybody in the back there he's the man he's the champion of South West Wrestling the stallion Chris Bronson better look next time to Digger Bane and from South West Wrestling thank you